Good morning and welcome to the Sparks Foundation Education Society Brunch. I'm Tracy Brooks, Director of Institutional Advancement and I welcome each of you here today on behalf of the Sparks Foundation Board. Um, at this time I'd like to welcome Dr. Linda Young to give a short welcome to everyone today. Notice she said short. <laughs> it will be short. This is just great to see so many of you here and so many that we haven't seen in a while. So thank you for being here. Thank you for uh, attending this luncheon and being with our students and our donors get to visit with the recipients of the scholarship. So it's just a, a really nice event that we look forward to each and every year. Certainly the commitment of the college and the foundation is to help students who uh, need some help to attain their goals in education. And what a mission that is. And thank you for being a part of that mission. And thanks to the faculty and staff who work so hard to put wings on students' dreams because that's what we do. And every day we bring hope when we come to work, hope for students, and that's what it's all about. So really we have two groups. One group, the donors and the faculty and staff who are donors, and they have high expectations for these students who are the recipients of the foundation scholarships. And that's the other group that we have and that we will hear from them today. We have great hopes for these students. We know that they're up to the tasks that are ahead of them with their schoolwork and all that was considered in the process when we decide on foundation scholarships or the recipients of the scholarships. So we view the students as the difference makers in, in the future of all of us to move our region forward and help everyone have a better future. So again, thank you for being here and thank you for being committed to what this is all about, our Sparks Campus Foundation and our students. So welcome. Good morning, everyone. If you will, you please bow your head. Father God, we just come to you today thanking and praising you, Father. Thanking you for the many blessings that you pour down on us each and every day. Lord, I just ask you to continue to impart your will, Father, in our lives. Open our eyes and open our ears so that we see and hear your words each and every day. Father, we just thank you. We thank you again for your many blessings and your mercy. We ask you to just bless this food, Father, and just nourish us and help us, Father, to walk out your will. Lord, it's in your precious Son, Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Good morning, everybody. Good to see everybody here today. On behalf of the uh, Sparks Foundation Board, I want to welcome you. I want to thank a couple of our board members for being here, but most importantly, I want to thank the students for being here today. As you guys and gals are what this is all about. Thank you for the donors that are here. This is an opportunity for us to say thank you to the donors for what you all create for these students. So thank you all. This, this is very important for us on the board that, uh, that, that we give the students an opportunity and also give the donors an opportunity to see how they come together in the end and, and what beautiful creations that that makes for our communities so so thank you um you know donors and students are are a key piece of the success of wallace community college but but another key piece of it is the staff faculty and administration and if your staff faculty or administration from wallace give give me a show of hands look at there thank y'all that's right. A little, little higher, Lee. <laughs> Got it right there. You go. <laughs> there you go. That's right. <laughs> right. Faculty, staff, administration. There you go. 
And how about D, all of the above, right? So you may not realize it, but Dr. Young mentioned this in her opening remarks. There's a whole parallel scholarship world out there that's funded by all of the employees of, of Wallace Community College. They give back to what they do for a living, and there, there's a lot of beauty in that for, for them as, as donors, for students as recipients, and for us as board members to see that even those that are on the inside are dedicated to giving and sharing their resources to students that, that need just a little bit of a helping hand. So thank you all for that. One more time, thank you. So I was, I went to work at the chamber almost four years ago now, August be four years ago, and uh, Dr. Young called me and asked me to be on the board, and I thought, okay, this is a pretty good opportunity just to get involved in some things in the community. But what I have come to learn in this short four years that I've been on this board is this is a huge opportunity for our community and the students of Wallace Community College, both here and at Dothan, because they have a board down there also, to really make a difference in people's lives and give them that edge that they need. So for me, it's, it's gone from an opportunity to get to know people to an opportunity to give back. So kind of, kind of, uh, it, was, it was a transformational or transitional period for me as I figured that out. But I'm, I'm glad to be a part of the board, Dr. Young and Tracy. I, I'm, it's, it, it's a good feeling to go to that board meeting once a quarter and come away from that with a, uh, a sense of accomplishment on behalf of, of the students and faculty at, at the college. Um, I'm also here today representing the, uh, the chamber and uh, Mr. Hawkins, Mr. Steve Hawkins, the executive director is unable to be here today, but he wanted to, to uh, send his regrets for that and also his, his congratulations to the students and thank yous to the, to the staff and faculty. Um, mentioned working at the chamber, one of the big things I do there is economic development. And we also have David Padgett back here from Bullock County who's a board member and does economic development there. There's a strong connection between what, what this foundational board does and what the staff and faculty of the university or the college does and, and what the students do in terms of workforce development. And, and when I look at this from, a, from an economic development perspective, if, if, if you're familiar with what a Venn diagram is, a bunch of circles and in the middle, you know, where they meet, that's, that's where the rubber meets the road, the goodness happens, so to speak. And in, in the world of economic development, there are about five of those circles, and, and workforce development is one of them. And all, all of you all that are graduating from this program are right there in the middle. You're a big part of economic development for this community. So I want, I want to thank you for that as well. You know, investing in yourself, investing in the community, giving, taking and giving at the same time, it, it's a beautiful thing. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to turn this back over to Dr. Tracy Brooks and let her get on with the very important piece of this, which is recognizing the students. Tracy. Thank you, Phil. Um, I want to say again, thank you all for being here. Um, you know uh, that I feel truly honored to work with each one of you here. As Lee said, uh, it's faculty, staff, administration. We're all one big happy family, and I feel very honored to work with each one of you uh, and to stand here with our external donors, our internal donors, our students. Uh, it's truly an honor. So thank you again for being here on behalf of the foundation. Um, Phil mentioned earlier, we do have uh, board members here, so I'd like for them to stand. You met Phil uh, with the Chamber of Commerce, David Pageant. If you'll stand uh, with, at, with the Bullock County uh, Development Authority and Charlie Schaefer, retired with Trustmark Bank. So they're here today. In addition, we also have external donors that I would like to recognize, so if you would please stand um, as uh, you are recognized. Ms. Jeanette Baxley, who supports the Bush Willis and Spark Circle and Flame Scholarship Funds. <laughs> Amy and Lee DeFee, who support the Spark Circle and Flame Scholarship Fund. <laughs> Ms. Jane French, who supports the Bush Willis Scholarship Fund. Peggy Hill, whose family supports the Johnny P. Parker Memorial Scholarship Fund. 
Joe Johnson, who supports the Doyle and Annie Mae Johnson Memorial Scholarship Fund. Dr. Mackie Jordan, who supports the Spark Circle and Flame Scholarship Fund. <laughs> Ms. Ann Smith, who supports the Joel P. and Ann Sutton Smith Scholarship Fund. And Mayor Jack Tibbs, who supports the Spark Circle and Flame Scholarship Fund. Phil has already recognized this special group, but I'm going to do it again, and I'm going to get you all to stand up this time. So anyone who works with Wallace Community College who's here today, faculty, staff, and administration, please stand up for a round of applause. Thank you. Um, we always get a, a faculty or staff member to share their story, and this year I'm really proud to um, have Miss Terry Ricks come up to share her story. She has been a longtime member of the Education Society, and uh, we would uh, ask her to come and share her story at this time. In society, there are often times that people with the most need miss out on the opportunity to fulfill their destiny. The destiny to maybe obtain a college degree or to start a career, to give back to the community, or even to start their own business. Options are limited and resources are few. The students you will meet later have decided to take a leap of faith to start their education and to pursue their destiny. Some of these students started immediately after high school while others took years to pursue the education, not knowing what the outcome is going to be, not knowing what obstacles they may face, but they decided to attend college, our college. And it is our mission to prepare the community for opportunities for social and economic development. I support the Sparks Foundation because I know firsthand the impact that it has on our students. Students from single parent homes, students who are single parents, those who are raised by other relatives, and then those who have raised themselves. These students face many difficulty challenges daily, but yet they stand proud on their commitment to education. I've sometimes seen tears of joy and tears of sorrow. But just like those tears, these students do not stop. They strive to keep going. So as long as the foundation supports the student's journey to education, I will continue to support the foundation. You see, the foundation not only allows students to fulfill their destiny, but it builds a sense of purpose, a sense of community, and a sense of belonging. I see an increase of confidence and motivation when these students receive scholarships. I witness success stories unfold as recipients graduate and either transfer to a four-year college or begin their career. But I am most proud when our students, especially our recipients, just some of the ones you're going to hear from today, I'm most proud when they give back to the community. You see, the foundation allows students to focus on their education instead of their college expenses. It allows them to focus on community service instead of alienating themselves from society. The foundation allows students to become contributing citizens of our community after college. So now, you're going to hear from our recipients. While you listen to their stories, reflect on your past and how people and reflect on your past and the people who have helped you along the way. But most of all, reflect on how your donations will continue to pave the way for the many, many students in order for them to fulfill their destiny and in hope that they in turn will pay it forward to our college, our town, and our community. Thank you.
Now we'll hear from our students. <laughs> oh, how y'all doing this morning? Everybody doing all right? Uh, my name is Justin Brown. My program of study is Industrial Systems. I'm loving that little lanky jokey right there. <laughs> and um, I just want to say thank y'all for everything y'all do and everything y'all cont contributed to furthering my education. I just want to say thank y'all very much. I'm very appreciative for what y'all have done. Good morning, everyone. My name is James Carraway. I am from Louisville, Alabama. I am um, in the nursing program, registered nurse. I retired after 24 years of retail management and took a leap of faith and decided to go back to school um, for my daughter to show her that I can be strong and that anybody at any age can be go back to school and obtain a degree. Um, <clears throat> my goal is to become a hospice nurse I want to be there for the families and the patients during that time. Um, so thank you so very much for allowing me to feel my dreams and make a difference in this world. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Molly Johnson. Um, I want to thank each and every one of y'all for believing in me, having faith in me, and also I want to thank you for letting me receive this scholarship. Um, this scholarship helped me complete my second and third degree at Wallace, which I finished up this year in 2023. I actually did three programs of study, which is supervising management, accounting, and office administration. I really want to thank each and every one of y'all because when I finished my office administration degree, I thought I was done. But Ms. Green and Ms. Raspberry talked me into doing two more, which I felt like I couldn't do. <laughs> but I did. It was just like a three, four class difference, which is I really do appreciate it because they have really helped me and has really proved to myself that I can do anything I put my mind to. Each and every one of y'all has really sent up here. And y'all see something in me that I really didn't see in myself for a long time. I want to thank y'all for pushing me. These I really worked at Sparks. I worked there as a temp, and I've seen different faces, I've helped different students, and I gave them all the same opportunities that y'all gave me, so in my each and every different scholarship that I can, and I've helped and proved to them that they can do exactly what I am doing. And I want to thank each and every one of y'all for the opportunity and for the work experience. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Robert Rowan. I'm not a very good talker or a long talker, but I appreciate everybody for receiving the scholarship i'm taking air conditioning and my teacher's ryan harris but he is not here <laughs> but thank y'all good morning everyone my name is hannah priest and a little bit about me is that i am from ifala i graduated um from sparks in may 2023 so i just graduated I started in fall 2021 and I have my degree in supervisory management. I actually did decide to come back to Wallace because I have such a great opportunity because of you guys helping me pay my way. Um, and now I'm doing my general studies so I can transfer and I'm thinking about going to Troy or Auburn to get my bachelor's in business. I do work full time in the community at Mr. Richard Wingate's accounting office. And so without y'all, I wouldn't have had that opportunity and I'm just really appreciative. Thank you so much. Good morning. My name is Janisha Anglin, and I'm currently a student at Wallace Community College. I graduated from Fall High in 2021. In May of 2021, I started at Wallace Community College in fall of 2021. I'm currently taking my general studies that's needed for um, nursing. I'm majoring. For, um, I'm doing LPN to RN. And hopefully by August, I should be going into the program. And I just thank you all for contributing to my education. Thank you. Good morning. How are y'all doing today? My name is Jamichael Williams. I attend uh, Wallace Sparks Campus. I, my program of study is supervising management. When I finished in December, I uh, 
plan is to go to Columbus Tech <clears throat> to become a front home director. Uh, now I already obtained my business license in lawn service and pressure washing. So now uh, when I go to Columbus Tech, get these front of home license, <laughs> I'll be good to go. Uh, in high school, there was a quote that Dr. King said, and it carried me through high school. He said, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But by all means, keep moving. This foundation has gave me that push, that encouragement to keep moving. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to our students for sharing their stories. Um, as you can see, everyone here today is so very important to, to their success, um, and you help provide that financial assistance that gets them to the next chapter of their lives. So again, I want to thank you all for being here today. Uh, if you'll flip your program over, there are all of our scholarship opportunities listed there, and in the bottom corner there's a star, and if you have the star, then please take the flower arrangement home with you today. Um, and again, we want to thank you for being here, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend.